Hello students, in this video we are going to discuss some of the most amazing and cool tricks as well as concepts to solve molarity and molarity based questions. Alright, so first let's see the definition of molarity. What is molarity? The number of moles of solute in dissolved in 1 liter of solution. Suppose imagine you have 1 liter of solution. Okay, you have 1 liter of solution. Now how many ever, how much moles how much moles of solute you dissolve in that one liter of solution that concentration is nothing but is molarity getting my point now just see the formula for molarity number of moles by volume in liters and the unit for molarity is moles per liter see how many ever be the mole you dissolve in one liter of solution that concentration we call it as molarity now see some of the important relations and formulas to calculate molarity based questions okay in this manner they'll be asking you a lot of questions first number of millimoles number of millimoles is equal to volume in milliliters in into molarity suppose they'll give you volume and molarity and they'll ask you to calculate number of millimoles or they'll give you number of millimoles or ol and volume and they'll ask you to calculate molarity so just substitute the values in this formula and get the answer in seconds next suppose in the question if they if they give you weight by volume percentage and they ask you molarity then we have to use this formula molarity is equal to 10 into weight by volume percentage by gram molecular weight all right next if they give you weight by weight percentage relation and density okay if they give you this both quantities weight by weight by weight percentage and density then we have to use this formula what is the formula molarity is equal to 10 into density into weight by weight percentage by gram molecular weight of that solute all right next formula when weight by weight percentage of specific gravity given if they give you weight by weight percentage in specific gravity we have to use this formula but when they give you weight by weight percentage and density we have to use this formula what is the formula for specific gravity molarity is equal to 10 into weight by weight percentage into specific gravity by gram molecular weight just change specific gravity in place of density same both formula resembles same only all right next if they give you two solutions okay two solution when two solution of different molarities are mixed then the resultant molarity is given by see on this model and on dilution law lots of question e each year at least one or maximum two questions not in just one exam maybe in need in je or sk set or any other exam they will be asking you the questions on dilution law on resultant molarity on this type of uh, models all right now what is the formula for resultant molarity m1 v1 plus m2 v2 by v1 plus v2 next we have dilution law very important m1 v1 is equal to m2 v2 all right next let us move on to molality okay next we have molality what is molality it is defined as the number of moles of solute dissolved in 1 kg of solvent see here number of moles of solute dissolved in 1 liter of solution here we are getting a term which includes volume but here we are getting a term in which we include mass okay here we are dissolving in 1 kg of solvent but here we are dissolving in 1 liter of solution but this first line remains same it is defined as a number of moles it is defined as a number of moles of solute all right so just remember one thing here in molality we refer mass that is 1 kg of mass here 1 liter of solution now what is the formula number of moles of solute by 1 kg of solvent now some important relation as we had discussed in molarity similarly we will be discussing some more formulas and tricks from molality also next first first formula or first trick is molality is equal to solubility into 10 by gram molecular weight suppose they'll give you solubility and they'll ask you to calculate molality then just use this formula substitute and get the answer in seconds okay next this is very important relation see th this relation resembles the relation between molality and morality the small m represents molality and the capital m represent molarity okay they'll they'll give you molality and they'll ask you to find molarity uh, or if they give you molarity and they'll be asking you to calculate molarity in this manner they'll frame a lot of questions just with this one formula now what is the relation is molality is equal to thousand m by thousand d minus m into gram molecular weight what is m as i told molarity so thousand into molarity by thousand into density this is density getting my point d it means density thousand d minus mol molarity into gram molecular weight of solute not solvent solute next 
we have some questions regarding the relation between molality and mole fraction also okay Mo molality and mole fractions re relations formula is mole fraction of a solute whether let it be any any solute mole fraction of solute is equal to molality by molality plus 1000 by gram molecular weight of solvent here it is solute don't get confused here we have solvent all right again i am repeating molarity of a solute is equal to molality by molality plus 1000 by gram molecular weight of solvent now let us solve some questions because if we solve some question then only we can get a grasp on this concept on this tricks on this formulas in a most efficient manner am i right so let us move on to the calculations of some numericals calculate molarity of 4 gram of naoh dissolved in 250 ml of solution we have to calculate molarity what is the formula i told you for molarity number of moles dissolved in oleum okay how many how many uh, 4 grams right moles how to calculate moles weight by gram molecular weight what is weight they have given 4 now what is the gram molecular weight of NaOH 40 am i right now into they have given in milliliters but our formula lies in liters therefore just multiply 1000 in the numerator now if we just divide this finally we will be getting around 0 0.4 0 0.4 molarity 0 0.4 molarity now just see what is the molarity of 0 0.3 m 500 ml of NaOH solution diluted to 1 liter by addition of water okay now let us solve this question this is a little bit interesting question this this question is based on dilution law okay i'm just looking for another page okay let's solve this question now first refer what they have given in question okay what they have given in question i'll write answer here what they have given in the question see m1 they have given 0 0.3 v1 they have given 500 ml all right then v2 diluted to 1 liter okay this 1 liter we can write as 1000 ml am i right now we have to calculate m2 what is the formula i told you for dilution m1 v1 is equal to m2 v2 write the formula m1 v1 is equal to m2 v2 now just substitute 0. Point. okay now just to substitute the values 0 0.3 into v1 it's 500 is equal to m2 we have to calculate v2 1000 ml they have given now if we just calculate then finally we will be getting m2 will be so finally m2 will be 1.5 molar okay actually the video had been cut i didn't observe that so some interruption sorry for that interruption okay now added volume added volume also we can calculate how to calculate added volume final volume what that is 1000 ml minus initial volume how much 500 ml if you subtract it we'll get 500 ml that is added volume we have added 500 ml extra to this solution to dilute it okay now let us move on see here how much water must be added to 2 liters of decimolar NaOH to get centimolar of NaOH solution see how much volume must be added to v1 they have given 2 liters m1 they have given decimolar decimolar it means 0 0.1 okay 0 0.1 to get centimolar centimolar means 0 0.01 molar in this molar now v2 we have to calculate they are asking us how much how much water must be added so v2 we have to calculate what is the formula m1 v1 is equal to m2 v2 just substitute 0 0.1 into 2 is equal to 0 0.01 into v2 that we have to calculate now v2 is equal to 0 0.1 into 2 by 0 0.01 if you just cancel it out and if you calculate finally what we will be getting around uh, 0 0.2 0 0.2 liters of water we have added now let us move on what is the molarity of the solution of sulfuric acid H2SO4 which have 1.8 gram per milliliter of density containing 98 percentage of weight by weight H2SO4 solution. Now I have discussed with you the formula when we have given weight by weight percentage and density what is the formula molarity is equal to 10 into density into weight by weight percentage by gram molecular weight just substitute the values in this formula keep in mind keep in mind this formula we are just directly using 
this formula in our calculations okay what we have to do molarity is equal to molarity is equal to 10 into what is uh, what is the density they have given what is the density 1.84 into weight by weight percentage how much they have given 90 no, sorry 98 this is not 98 98 by what is the uh, gram molecular weight of uh, sulfuric acid 98 okay now after writing this just cancel them finally if you just calculate around you will be getting how much you'll be getting oh, you'll be getting around 18.4 molarity okay now let's move on to the solving next question calculate the molarity of 10.6 gram of sodium bicarbonate dissolved in 250 gram of water now what is the formula for molarity i've already told you number of moles of solute by 1 kg of solvent now molarity molarity is equal to number of moles of solute okay how to calculate number of moles weight by gram atomic weight that is weight they have given 10.6 gram what is the gram molecular weight of uh, na2co3 sodium carbonate it's 106 all right dissolvent 250 gram of water see we, we are calculating molality in terms of kg but they have given gram therefore just multiply thousand now uh, forza then finally we will be getting 0 0.4 molality next let us move i'm just solving little fastly because to save your time okay calculate molality of 0 0.1 molar h2so4 which has a density of 1.01 gram per liter okay which has a density of 1.01 gram per liter which formula we have to use this formula molality is equal to 1000 m by 1000 d minus m into gram molecular weight of solute just substitute just substitute okay I, I, i'm keeping a formula here you can just refer if you need okay 1000 into molarity how much they have given 0 0.1 by 1000 density what is the density z 1.10 minus minus 0 0.1 molarity into gram molecular weight what is the gram they have given h2so4 we know that the gram molecular weight of h2so4 is 98 therefore this will be 100 by 110 minus 9.8 this will be around okay okay now finally we will be getting around 100 by 1090.2 just subtract 100 1, by minus 9.8 if you subtract you will get 1090.2 now if we divide this both finally we will be getting 0 0.09 molarity see we need to be very strong in our calculation in order to solve this type of problems in a swift manner in a fast manner we have to be thorough in our calculation we have to improve our calculations now finally i'll be discussing a last problem with you all this is also a very important problem see calculate the mole fraction of 0.1 molar of any white solution again what is the relation between mole fraction and molality this is the relation mole fraction of a solute is equal to molality by molality plus 100 molality plus 1000 by gram molecular weight of solvent now just use this formula use this formula mole fraction of NaOH is equal to molality they have given 0.1 by again molality plus 1000 what is the solvent of course water right now gram molecular of, uh, gram, gram molecular weight of water is 18 all right it becomes very simple when we have solvent water why because it's a constant we can remember that is 55.5 all right 55.55 it will just continue on it will go on therefore 0 0.1 by 55.65 if you cancel out if you might if you divide then finally we will be getting 0 0.01 of solute of NaOH solution so in this manner we can solve many problems regarding molality as well as morality just by using this formula now if you just want to take a screenshot of this formulas you can just take first take molalities if you have taken the screenshot of molality then you can take the screenshot of molarity also
ओके एंड एट लास्ट माय रिक्वेस्ट टू यू ऑल इज प्लीज लाइक एंड सब्सक्राइब बिकॉज इट मोटिवेट्स मी टू मेक मोर सच वीडियोस मोर सच अमेजिंग वीडियोस फॉर यू ऑल सो थैंक्स फॉर वॉचिंग थैंक्स वन एंड ऑल थैंक यू अगेन